Hey guys, Steve Bivens here with another of my 52 things I think I know. Uh, this is episode 11. This one goes to 11, baby. Um, <laughs> it's a beautiful Friday here in St. Paul uh, on this 4th of May. So may the 4th be with you. And uh, the question today is, and I didn't even plan this, trust me. <laughs> a very galactic one. Uh, so, <laughs> and, and we'll, it's a short one because it's really simple. <laughs> what is the distance from the Earth to the Sun? And I, I, I've asked I've asked this question uh, in uh, middle school science class when I was substituting a couple years ago at the end of class just to kind of mess with their heads. And, uh, and of course, you know, one of the kids flipped open his textbook and cheated, you know, well, it's not really cheating. He actually read it, uh, and you know, gave me the answer that I just got on Google, right? Uh, how's it going, David? Um, <coughs> the answer of 92.96 million miles, right? And that's the, that's the standard answer for the distance from the earth to the sun. And I said, well, how do you know that, right? How do we know that's the distance? Uh, does somebody take a tape measure and measure it, right? Uh, and is the distance from the Earth to the Sun constant? They had to answer no, of course, because it has an elliptical orbit, so it's not circular. It's an oval. So it cha the distance changes every every fraction of a fraction of a second. So it's not 92.96 million miles exactly. Uh, that's an average. <coughs> and where do you determine the edge? Of, where do you put your tape measure when you measure it? Right, where do you set it down? Right, let's say, let's just look at the earth end of the tape measure and say, well, that's this is where we're gonna put the zero where do we place it? Right at the bottom of the Marianas Trench, top of the Himalayas, right? Uh, Mount Everest. Where do we put the, the end of the? It matters, right? Because it, it's a big difference between the bottom of the Marianas Trench and the top of Mount Everest, if you want to be exact. And then, on the other end of the tape measure, where do we put? Where do we place that? Where do we place the tape measure on the sun? What is the edge of the sun? In other words, it's a big ball of burning gas. So there are no edges, really. So is, is it the, the, the furthest you know, flare that comes out, which doesn't stay there for more than you know, a minute or a second or whatever? <laughs> or is it somewhere at the core? Right? How do we, where do we, ter we determine that end, end of the tape measure goes? Or is it the, what is actually the sun? Where is the edge of the sun? Is it the flames or is it the light? I would argue that the sun composes the distance its light travels. Because that light is at, at one second, at one instant, a wave, and another a particle, so a physical particle. So in fact, <laughs> we're inside of the sun because its light goes well beyond us, right? So we're actually part of the sun. So the answer to my question is zero. The actual distance from the Earth to the Sun is zero. There is no distance. And that's it for today. How's it going, John?